Hey guys, it's Shun. Today I'll be showing you guys how to do crochet with braiding hair. Well, let's just get right into it. The braid pattern that I'm using for this is pretty simple. In the front, I'm just braiding a bunch of braids going straight back. So I started from the center and I just continue to braid braids going straight back that were about this size, not too big but not too small as well. And you want, as you're braiding these braids, you also want to take into account where you want your parts to be. With this braiding pattern, you can choose to have multiple parts where you will be able to part your crochet here. Those parts will lay in between these braids that you are braiding now. So you want to make sure that these braids will allow you to part your hair where you want it to be parted. So once you finish up braiding these braids in the front, and just going straight back, you're going to connect these braids by braiding down along both sides, starting from the middle. And then once I braided down like this right side, I just bobby pinned it in place and then braided down the left side going down. And then originally I thought I was going to do a beehive, but a beehive is very hard to braid on yourself because it's hard to braid upside down. But this braiding pattern is much easier and it worked out really well as well. So all I did is like a little zigzag going back and forth, starting a new braid from the top. And then once I got to the bottom, I started to connect those end braids from earlier to this braid that I am doing here in the back. So on this side, I connected the braids from the right to this braid, and then once I got over to the left, I connected the one big braid from the entire left side. So that in the end, I was left with only one braid. And then with this one braid, I just tucked it in and crocheted it through the cornrows so that it could be securely and flatly in place. And yeah, that is the braiding pattern. It's pretty simple. So this hair, the hair that I'm using is just regular pack hair that I picked up from my beauty supply store. It costs like a dollar and nine cents, super, super cheap. Just your regular connect on hair. I'll try and find a link to this direct brand in case you want to get it too, but literally any pack hair, connect on hair will work for this. So now it's time to start crocheting and I've grabbed a piece about this size and I'm just going to loop it around my index finger like so and grab the latch hook place it through my braid and then use my finger to glide the hair in close the latch pull it through open it up again loop it around my finger use my finger to glide it through close it and pull it through. No slipping, and that was just one knot. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do all of these with just one knot. But I'm continuing through the rest of my head using pieces this big, and these pieces are actually fairly large, so I am separating them, putting quite a bit of space in between them, which made this process super, super fast. Okay, I'm really, really excited because I can tell this is going to turn out really, really well. So now I'm about to do my invisible part method. So I'll have a part right here and I'll also do it in the middle so I can wear it in the middle part as well. I'm doing the same thing of looping it around my finger. So once I go up from under, which is very important, you have to go from under where you want the part to be. I loop the hair strand in the same way, but now I'm only taking one piece of the hair, not all of it. Just taking one half of the hair to latch and pull through so that that other piece that's hanging there on the side can fall over the knot and cover up the knot. Once I flip that piece over, you won't be able to see the knot. And at the beginning, it's always going to be a little bit poofy. So I always use a bobby pin to pin it down as I'm going through my hair. And after, like I'm done finishing that section, and I, I can take the bobby pins out and it's super flat. So you don't have to worry about it being poofy at the end. Just go ahead and use a bobby pin to pin it down as you're going through. 
and so I continue through the rest of the part in the same exact way only pulling half of the hair through and then finishing it off and bobby pinning it down so it can stay flat in place look how natural that looks you guys <laughs> So one half is done and I'm moving through the second half of my head in the exact same way. I love using the miserable part method with hair like this because it always comes out really really nice. For this entire install, I used a total of three full packs and then a little bit from the fourth pack. So total, it was like less than $5 for everything. And less than four packs is pretty good considering how full this hair ended up being. So if you want your hair to be less full, you probably wouldn't need the full four packs either. And then so once I'm done with that part, then I can move on to the middle part which is just right there and I did this middle part the exact same way I did the side part and the key to having these parts come out really really nice and natural looking is one make sure your braids aren't too big and also making sure that you're going up from under the braid so that the knot is underneath the braid and the other piece falls on top and as long as you are crocheting them close enough together, especially this type of hair in particular makes it easy for it to come out looking nice because of the kinkiness of this texture of Kineglon hair. I am moving throughout the rest of my head using fairly large pieces and for each corner row going straight back, I use like two or three pieces, which is not a lot at all. So this whole process literally took me like the actual crocheting part took me under 30 minutes which is super super fast i was also using pieces this big because i'm going for the bigger kind of look um, so that's why i'm using pieces this big if you want a more subtle look at the end use smaller pieces but if you do use smaller pieces you'll have to use slightly more to fill in those gaps but since these pieces are big they fill in the gaps pretty well themselves so I didn't have to use too many pieces and especially if you're using big pieces you want to be very careful with not overdoing it it's so easy to overdo it with crochet and your hair will end up being super super poofy and so I continue to crochet the rest of the the back of my hair in the same way the first way I showed you earlier not using the invisible part method and yeah you guys get the gist so whenever I was done I was super super excited like this texture is so so nice and it's so cheap so I just cut a few layers here and there if you want to go for a flatter look you can blow this hair out I've seen some videos of people blow drying it or straightening it here you can see me just smiling because <laughs> I really was really feeling this hair. I personally like the way this looks with this type of fullness, so I'm leaving mine like this as is. Super cheap, super affordable, super fast. This was honestly one of my favorite styles. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you in the next one. And you guys can also find me on Instagram when I'm not here showing you guys my hairstyles. I'm on Instagram constantly updating that and doing mini tutorials and things like that. So definitely check that out if you're interested and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.